Noctua is the king of quality, or at least that's what they want you to believe. But in this video, we're going to be talking about all of the ways that Noctua hates you, the consumer. So what are you doing unactivated windows? Mo? Well, lucky you! You're the new one from CDKeyOffer.com. Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Code. Legit, safe, and the most important. It's easy to order. Hanap it on Windows version that you want. Pili it on preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, na CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sudden depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com One clear reason that Noctua hates you, the customer, is that it has no RGB. The trend in PC building that set off a thousand lights is absent in Noctua's product line. Everybody and their mother loves RGB. Who doesn't want your computer to look like a flashing neon sign alternating between soothing rainbow and pulsating blue, red, white, violet, and every color in between? All other manufacturers jumped onto the RGB bandwagon with their own proprietary software, with cut-out light frames. Anything that can be RGB'd has been RGB'd except Noctua. Noctua coolers are pristine. They are unsullied by any frivolous lighting, RGB system, proprietary software. A PC guy from 1990 looking at Noctua coolers today would immediately recognize that yes, that is a cooler and not a disco ball that somebody stuck in a PC from the 1970s. And speaking of what would old PC guys think of our hardware now, one thing they didn't have before to cool CPUs was AIOs. Back in the day, there was custom liquid water cooling, but now we have all-in-ones that do the job without the mass, without the fuss, super easy to install. But again, not Noctua because they don't care about you. Do you want a Noctua AIO? You're fresh out of luck. The company is still obsessed with air coolers and fans. Do you want a Noctua AIO with a new screen? Because that's the latest thing, slapping a thing on everything. And arguably, that trend started with the CPU block on an AIO. No luck if you're a Noctua fan. Noctua has no AIOs, let alone AIOs with a display. Noctua is like an air avatar that doesn't want to be involved with a water bender at all. Another thing Noctua doesn't like, which is bad for the customer, is it doesn't like names. If you look at all of their product lines, there are no names. You're talking about the NHU12A, the NHD15, the NFA15. Their entire product line is a gooblygook of letters and numbers without any names. Contrast that to other manufacturers today. Think about the Deepcool Assassin, the NZXT Kraken, the Cooler Master Hyper 212. All of these different brands have coolers and to differentiate them from the market, to personalize them, to stick them into the brains of customers, they give them fancy names. Not Noctua. Noctua's product line looks like a multiplication table that you need to memorize. 2 times 2 equals 4. The largest and baddest cooler is the NH-D15. Real geeks don't need names. Another thing that Noctua doesn't have, which is terrible for the consumer, is a budget line. Most manufacturers have market segmentation where different components are targeted to the entry-level market, mid-range market, enthusiast market, and for sure, Noctua has entries for the mid-range and the high-end, but very little for the low-end. They do have the Redux line, which we'll talk about more in a little bit. But even the Redux line, which is in its customary gray color, isn't that cheap compared to its counterparts from other brands. If you want Noctua, you need to have a bit more cash on hand to afford it. And speaking of color, yes, the Redux line is in gray, but usually... Noctua's products are in a very distinct color. 
which is Noctua Brown. And it's not a great color. It clashes with basically any build that you want to do. You want an all-black stealth build? Noctua Brown gets in the way. You want a pristine all-white build? Noctua Brown gets in the way. Brown just doesn't complement things. You really love Noctua, you want to use one of their coolers, you put it into your system, your system has RGB. RGB plays terrible. It's a terrible contrast with RGB and Noctua Brown. So much so that even when they do collaborations with other brands, you know it's a Noctua collaboration because they're still using Noctua Brown. The company can't be bothered to even give you basic colors like black and white. Now before we get all of the Noctua fanboys upset, let me be upfront by saying that this is all tongue-in-cheek. I am actually a Noctua fanboy because there's one thing that they do give you that a lot of the other brands don't care about and that's quality. For example, their flagship cooler, the NHD15, has been the same for years. And every year they keep saying, oh yes, we're going to release the successor soon. It's been years, we're still with the NHD15, because they want to get the successor right. Noctua's thinking is that when we release a product, it will be the best on the market. It will have improved significantly from our previous product. And that's why the NHD16 or whatever they want to call it is taking so long because they're taking the time to do the job right. And honestly, all of my tongue-in-cheek criticisms are actually positives of the company. They don't jump on the bandwagon. They don't look at the trend and think that, oh, we could sell X units if we jump on the RGB bandwagon. Oh, we should have an AIO because everybody else has an AIO. They have stayed true to their core mission, which is to cool CPUs in the most efficient way possible. Yes, their products are a little pricey, but they are quality. You are getting tremendous value for money, especially because usually when you buy a Noctua, it's buy and forget. Buy one of their coolers, put it into your system, you don't need to worry about it for years. Aside from the occasional cleaning, modern day air pollution is not Noctua's fault anymore. And yes, some of my points were exaggerated for effect. For example, the color. Most of their products really do come in Noctua Brown, but they do have the Chromax line where you can kind of mix up the colors a little bit. And so I really do admire this company that doesn't give a hoot about market trends. It's all about the performance and the quality of the product. They've been around for so long and you can really tell from how the company acts, what they release, what they don't release, that they're obsessed with quality, with thermal efficiency, with cooling your CPU the best way that they can. It might be an old-fashioned way of thinking, but I am 100% on board. We carry a lot of Noctua items in the shop and there are a lot of people that name check the brand who say that for my cooler, I want it to be a Noctua because again, they are synonymous with quality. Very few manufacturers have been able to pull off that trick. Even fewer have been able to do it for the number of years that Noctua has been running. Hats off guys, but really, if you decide to sell an AIO, I bet that would be a monster hit. Thanks for watching.